okay. Hello, hi, okay, I'm Faith. Uh, you probably have seen me around on the Let's Add Oil Facebook group. So now we have switched place. Now it's Danny by Cody. Oh, you don't oh, cry on me, okay? I thought you spent easy to bring from you. Uh. Okay, so, <laughs> so okay, you probably see me around on the Let's Add Oil Facebook group. This is my son, So, okay, we were trying to oil drill it just now, but she refused. So, anyway, I will do the baby raindrop first. So, So right now is six months old. Um, and then what I do is that I did experiment rate on him for quite a bit. Um, I realized that if I done it like how Danny do it on this year, if you if I rain drop him on the spine, he doesn't quite like it because the oils are quite hot and the skin tends to turn rain turn red very easily. So what I do even to now is that I rain drop him on the soles. You will find that rain dropping for a baby is is exactly like a toddler it's just that you might want to do it on the soles i would say that um you know look at your child you can try both ways but make sure that your v6 your carrier oil is is around so if your child experiences discomfort you can definitely dilute further to ease the discomfort okay so what i'll do is that i'll replicate the same steps as danny okay so okay this is bella so then you just zoom in until you can see very well. Huh? Yeah. Okay, can. Okay, cool. Okay, so like what Danny say, right? We always start raindrop with Valor so that we can prepare the body to receive the other oils. Valor is a great oil that also balances the energies of the body as well. Okay, so it's a very integral oil to start with. As you know, right now Valor is going up, it's out of stock. So the other great oils for to substitute Valor could be oils like. Um, grounding is one of them. I've heard of Harmony, Balsam Fur, and even for highest potential as well. But if you do have Valor, keep it. It's very valuable right now. Okay? You want to suck it? No. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, right, what I do is that I basically only take a swipe off the top of the bottle and oil, uh, oil my son. I don't even use one drop. Yeah, so so. Okay, I do it really fast right now. This is Oregano. Mm, okay. Wait, trying to zoom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can. Cool. Okay. This oregano. So as you see, right? Okay. It's only like this. It's just a swipe. Okay. It's not even one drop. Then I just apply. I mean, I see mothers who is like like Danny lah. You know, she do the massage, the techniques. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the kind of patience. So I usually do the lazy raindrop. <laughs> you can do it too. You don't have to feel guilty about it. You, the important thing is that you all your kids. Okay. I know people who say that, hey, but I don't know the techniques, you know, um, how, you know, do I need to learn? Uh, like the thing that I said in the earlier broadcast is that the actual full raindrop massage, right, is at least 45 minutes long with all kinds of techniques. Something that you, I don't think you can do it on a baby or, on the, or a toddler because they tend to move around. So what I do is I just do it really, really fast. This is okay. the third one. Uh, sorry, time. time. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, next oil is Basil. Um, so just know that after Valor, Valor is quite gentle, but the next three oils, Oregano, Thyme and Basil is actually very hot. So that's also a good thing why you want to raindrop on his soles instead of his spine. Okay. Also just remember that if wherever you oil your kids, right, and the oils are hot, try not to drip on the soles directly. Put it on your finger first or your palm, then you apply. Because what happens is that if your kid wriggles around and let's say they knock the oil over or they wriggle around and then you drop it on somewhere else besides the soles or the back, then you might find that um, you need to have a lot of carrier oil to wash it out. <laughs> yes. Okay, after best. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We have Cypress, great oil for respiratory system and also to promote circulation as well. Okay, so again, oil, quick one. Okay, yeah. Okay, some people ask me, is it as effective if you do raindrop on the soles instead of the spine? Let me tell you this, if you look at the baby's feet, right, okay, where is the spine for Vitaflex? Okay, where is the spine in correlation to here? Just know that the feet, just like the hand, and the ears, they're the microsystems of the body. So like for example, the brain is on the big toe, okay? The spine right, is actually here. So if you're particular about it, then you just oil here. Lah. But for me, right, I'm not particular. I find that oiling is good in terms of how it's being done. So I'll just apply it just like that. You know, that's it, okay? 
So I don't really go all teamology and complicated or something. Cypress. Yeah, okay. Yeah, winter green. So the next one is winter green. Okay. 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 Again, some people ask me, oh, but she's so young. Can I use winter green on it? You can. Okay. But again, your comfort level. If you're not comfortable to put winter green for your child, or you you're not comfortable to put peppermint for your child, right? Skip it. It's fine. Okay. The next oil. Majoram. Majoram. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Okay. So, so I'll talk a bit more about Majoram. For women out there, you can find that you know when you have your regular periods, right, and you're cramping, you can use Majoram for to ease the. <laughs> God bless you. To ease the cramps there. So just remember that Majoram is great for involuntary muscles. Involuntary muscles would be muscles that are just working, uh, contracting, expanding without control. Like the heart, for example, might give you a joint ache. Okay. Uh, from eating. Spicy food or something. Uh, the other one is great for voluntary muscles, oh, yeah. like say your arms, your shoulders, right? It will be always like um, vessel and I think maybe also oregano. Those are good for that. Okay, measure them. And so the one is peppermint. Mama Okay. Okay, so again, very quick one. Mama go buy Mama go buy What you can do is also that Mama after Kabaya, if you're yeah, yeah. so like me, you want something more for your child, you can put in Kobayi Bam. So what happens is that for peppermint, Mama the molecules yeah. are small, you can use it to dry the previous oils inside. Kobayi Bam actually helps to magnify it further. So I actually convert my Kobayi Bam into a roller. Okay. Sorry for the tacky yeah. labor. But that's how it looks like. Okay. So what yeah, I do is I just oil his soles. Okay, and he's done. That's it. Okay. Okay. What other questions that you might like me to cover? How often for a baby? Um generally, um in good health, right? I like to maybe oil him like say maybe once a week. Mm. Once a week for that. Um to, to help support immunity. Especially if a toddler that has a house who can bring home all the good things. If let's say otherwise, right, I can even oil him as often as maybe even two, three times a day. But generally, I would try to hydrate him, uh, you know, either with breast milk or with water. That would be important for that. Uh. Uh, let's see, anything else for that? I think that's about all. Uh, if there's any questions, you can let me know now. If not, then I'll just end the call. Okay, alright, thank you very much for watching. Thanks, goodbye. Okay, that's